What's good YouTube? It's your girl Miss Golden 83 and I am here to do a right here and now for the sign of Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio, you guys are last but not least on the Zodiac lineup for group one. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Remember you guys, these are general messages, not personal. So take what resonates and pass the rest to the next, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get into your reading, Scorpio. This is just a, you know, snippet into the energy for the week. I'm gonna do a light shuffle here. I think I saw the Eight of Cups just now. Some possible walking away being done. Um, or wandering, if you will, maybe. Um, you have the moon energy, which is your cosine Pisces, with the page of pentacles, okay? So kind of hiding um, or maybe distancing yourself possibly um, with small talk, all right? Um, with certain people possibly, all right? Or a significant other, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle there. And a third shuffle. And we're going to go ahead and split, okay? Kind of keeping it kind of light since that moon energy came out as far as, you know, pre-read vibes, all right? We're going to go ahead and start from one from the top, which is for yourself energy, where you are right now. One directly from the bottom, which is the motivation behind the energy that we just pulled from the top. Going to go directly in the middle twice. One is for what your focus is or should be while in this energy that's one okay and then the last one is in regards to the hidden purpose behind the energy it is the last card going with this one kind of hard you guys may have multiple energies or not really in a particular situation there's nothing that is truly you know hidden I think maybe you end up saying something um not in the sense of an explosion if you will but or blowing up over something but kind of speaking your mind. So you, somewhere within this week, things will be unhidden, like things will be revealed in a way, okay? Um, I feel like, like earlier today, I, I heard in my head and I'm kind of hearing it now, is like soon you'll understand um, Jay-Z, okay? So you may want to listen to that. That may, just the, the premise of that song, just the title alone, um, possibly will be what it is once things come to light, okay? So let's go ahead and, and get into your reading, okay? So for your energy, Scorpio, to start is, <laughs> wow, temperance. Okay, temperance is here. Temperance came in at the end of Libra's reading. Okay, in the sense of needing to have patience. All right, um, 
between patients or testing something out, okay? Like I said, we saw the page of uh, pentacles with the moon, okay? Um, and so you could be kind of hiding what your true intentions are possibly with light communication or favors, if you will, um, just to see how someone reacts, okay? Especially with the temperance card, one foot in water, one foot out, okay? And kind of just passing water to and fro, okay? So it could be a sense of trying to get enlightened on a person's mood or how they operate or work, okay? Let's see what is motivating this energy behind temperance showing up for you guys. It is the queen of cups motivation, okay? Possibly um, someone keeping a lid on things because the queen of cups is totally different from the king of cups. The king of cups um, is usually holding up an open glass or chalice, if you will. The queen of cups is covered, okay? And so she is a little bit more, I guess you can say, possibly calculated. Um, and so it's someone who has been keeping a lid on their emotions um, and not really letting you in as much, okay? And so you may um, either hasn't been or will not um, based off of, you know, past or current situations, maybe hearing things about you, Scorpio, um, or seeing or observation of you, um, keeps their lid, uh, kind of on their cup. Okay. Keeps a lid on things. You yourself may need to keep a lid, um, on things as well. That's for some of you, not all. Okay. Um, these are primarily supposed to be for sun signs, but then again, you could have someone who has Scorpio in their chart that's coming in on your energy a little bit. Okay. So hopefully, you know, if this doesn't resonate for you, then possibly, uh, two of your other readings plus the monthly manifestation may be more of help to you. Okay. Let's see what the focus is or should be while in this energy for you, Scorpio. And it is the lovers. Okay. It is the lovers. So this is based off of love type of situation. Um, also could be platonic as well. Um, it doesn't have to be 100% romantic all the time. Um, but for this to have some heavy energy in the queen um, of cups, it obviously has to be some kind of mature love possibly um, going on here. And so we take the time with the temperance plus lover, not looking at the hidden purpose, but just here. Um, kind of the same thing that I did with cancer as well um, is looking at where your energy is plus lovers plus queen of cups. Okay. So obviously you have your eyes set on someone that is very mature, um, holds their own very well as far as emotionally um, because of cups energy being here. Okay. And I mean, temperance is not necessarily pertaining with cups, but does have cups in the card. Um, so you need someone who's on a loving, le leveled playing field as you are mentally and emotionally. Okay. So let's see what the hidden purpose is behind this energy to wrap up your reading. And it is the hermit. Okay. The hermit. There has been isolation of some sort. This is Virgo energy, earth energy. All right. And so the hidden purpose is this hermit kind of pointed towards the lovers and this queen of cups. Okay. It's almost like I said, a wondering going on now, either wondering what to do about the situation with being in temperance and with the lovers being here or um, wandering around aimlessly looking 
for this particular love to not really find anything, okay? How can you find anything? How can you find love in isolation, okay, Scorpio? You can't. The only thing that you can find is love of self and opening up to the thought of love, okay? Um, possibly if something has transpired that, you know, kind of caused you to go into this hermit mode, um, took you away from this pursuit of possible or potential happiness for you, Scorpio. So you have to tap into or, you know, during being in this hermit phase is the hidden purpose of it is, you know, kind of trying to find yourself aimlessly, like I said, aimlessly wandering around, possibly in a shadow phase of some sort. We have talked about this in your readings before, okay? Primarily, um, tap into your soul readings, your energy shout outs. Okay. I definitely, definitely, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, truly appreciate everyone's patronage. If you're new to the channel and you kind of want to get some things kind of off your chest kind of vibe, I would check out the activity of the tap into your souls. It could be very helpful to you. If you are someone who enjoys metaphysical work, meditation, things of that nature, check out your energy shout outs, okay? Um, I'm trying to wrap up the rest of them. I'm trying to figure out where I can fit them in and kind of just knock them out um, for you guys because I really do like doing those in the sense of kind of just checking in on your energy. It's almost like a, 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 a sacred area for you or a sacred reading for you to kind of just tap into the energy, get some crystal, um, crystals of assistance, things like that. We talk about spirituality just a little bit if the energy is there um, to share. Um, and so it also has a daily message with it along with um, just checking in on your energy, okay? And so you can kind of use that as may maybe a meditation um, session for yourself and hopefully you release some energy off of you, okay? Okay. So um, there's plenty to go by um, if you go and check those out. Um, and so that's where I would gauge you if you're new to the channel to kind of start there in the event that you need that kind of that kind of work, that kind of special word. Um, traumas, uh, things like that is what tap into your soul is for. Um, and then the energy shout outs are just, you know, for that, you know, peaceful time, okay, um, for your time. So um, with that being said, I would definitely say just go to what energetically guides you the most. But if it found you here, I hope this was somewhat helpful. Um, it's meant to be short and sweet. Um, so that way you can kind of get on with the rest of your week. Um, there are two more readings um, left. So for the month. So until then, peace.